students in this video we are going to discuss about taylor's theorem and we will solve one problem taylor's theorem if a function fj is analytic as you know the meaning of analytic a complex function which is differentiable at a point analytic within a circle c with center with center at alpha then at each point at each point j inside c fz can be expanded fz equals to f alpha plus 1 by factorial 1 z minus alpha f dash alpha plus 1 by factorial 2 z minus alpha square f double dash alpha and this way up to 1 by factorial n z minus alpha power n f n alpha plus up to infinity now this function is of the form n equals to 0 to infinity 1 by factorial n z minus alpha power n f n alpha so let us take one circle c with a center alpha then there is a point z inside the circle c so here inside the circle the function fz can be expanded in this form now let us solve this question expand fz equals to sin z in a taylor series about z equals to pi by 4 this question has appeared several times in Markov semester exam fz equals to sin z this one fz equals to sin z this is differentiable at all the values of z that means fz equals to sin z is analytic analytic for all for all finite values of z as it is analytic for all finite values of z so 
this is analytic in the neighborhood in the neighborhood in the neighborhood of the point of the point j equals to pi by 4 therefore fz can be expanded in the taylor series fz can be expanded in the taylor series here you see fz equals to f alpha here alpha is pi by 4 then plus 1 1 by factorial 1 z minus pi by 4 f dash pi by 4 in this way we will write the series so fz equals to fz fz means sin z sin z this is equals to f of alpha means pi by 4 plus 1 by factorial 1 1 by factorial 1 z minus z minus pi by 4 f dash pi by 4 plus 1 by factorial 2 z minus pi by 4 square f double dash pi by 4 in this way the nth term is 1 by factorial n z minus pi by 4 power n f n pi by 4 plus up to infinity now f z is sin z and f dash z is f dash z is cos z and this cos z can be written as sin of pi by 2 plus z look here all sin tan cos so pi by 2 this is pi by 2 and plus z that means here it is so in this case cos is negative so there is a minus sign and similarly if you find a double dash z then you will get cos z will be as minus of sin z and then this one can be written as uh, sin of sin of pi by 2 pi by 2 2 pi by 2 plus z so this minus this minus and 2 pi by 2 so 2 into pi by 2 uh, 2 into that means you you have to come here and then in this position in this position so in this position sign is negative that minus and this minus will be plus So you will get a double dash z. Now you can write in general form that f n z f n z is actually sine of n pi n pi n pi sine of n pi by two plus z. If you apply this formula, then you will get all of this. Actually, this one will be plus sine. Uh, So minus j, so this one will be plus. You will get automatically minus. Um, so if you put the values of n, uh, n starts from say n equals to one, two, three in this way. Um, if you put these values, you you will get all of this, all of this. And now you put uh, f n of pi by four. So you will have sine of n pi 
by 2 plus pi by 4 for um, this so you will, you will have like uh, f alpha f alpha that is f pi by 4 that is sine pi by 4 that is 1 by root 2 and then f double dash pi by 4 that is minus f dash f dash f dash pi by 4 that is you will have 1 by root 2 cos of pi by 4 that is 1 by root 2 and then f no, 1 by root 2 and f double dash pi by 4 you will have minus 1 by root 2. So if you put all these values you will get the series as fz equals to you will get the series fz equals to 1 by root 2 z minus pi by 4 plus uh, 1 by root 2 plus z minus pi by 4 into 1 by root 2 plus 1 by factorial 2 z minus pi by 4 root square uh, into 1 by root 2 uh, this is minus 1 by root 2 and so on so this is the answer the expansion of fz at z equals to pi by 4